recording. Oh. Brief. It's upside down. Good start. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Essential RC. So another flight test, this time a review of another in the long line of trainers from our good friends at FMS. So this is the Kingfisher. It's the successor to the Super Easy version 2 that I think Carl reviewed a while ago. Uh, and what they've done with this new version is it's a multi-role trainer. So got all the features of a classic trainer but they've included three sets of landing gear. Classic wheels, so you know for taking off the ground, your local model flying club, but also has a set of floats should you want to try landing, taking off and landing on water, which I can tell you has its own unique challenges, and also uh, taking off and landing on snow. Now it's cold here in the UK, deep winter, highly probable we will get snow at some point, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. Otherwise, this is classic FMS, it's a plug and play model, so all the hard work's been done for you, all the servos will be in place, the speed controller and motor as well. It's really designed so that it can be very quickly bolted together uh, so you can get into the air as quickly as possible. So let's not hang around, let's take the components out of the box, let's see what we get. Even more important these days that when they design these cartons, that they minimise the amount of space that it all takes. And the, the guy at FMS has obviously put a lot of effort into designing this with all the uh, components that are in the box. So uh, nothing's going to move around. There's no chance of it being damaged in any way when, it, when it's uh, on its way to your door. But uh, let's take the components out of the box now and put them on the table. Okay, so we've got all the components unpacked and on the bench. Let's have a look at the fuselage first quickly. So canopy unclips at the back, slots in at the front. You can see where we've got the speed controller and motor already in place. All the cables that we need to plug into our receiver uh, from the Reflex version 2 stabilization system, which is great, especially on a windy day. For us experienced users can make a windy day quite a pleasant day to fly so it reduces the effect of gusts and turbulence on the model but also it's got a mode to, um, to help beginners uh, should you get into problems or release your fingers on the sticks then it will then it will revert to flying in, in a level uh, way which is uh, useful if you're beginning to learn radio control model flying well, interestingly so this is the the first canopy but then there's uh, there's another one here which I think is for FPV should we want to well add in a camera or an FPV system I fly a lot of FPV so I might do that we've got the servos on already installed on either side for the elevator and rudder we're just gonna have to put the horizontal stabilizer in place probably bolts in place and then we just hook hook up the servos with the provided push rods to the control surfaces then in wheels we haven't just got wheels we've got big chunky wheels which are going to be great for flying off rough ground looking at the wings you can see we've got the servos in place for the ailerons and flaps Uh, we've got a hardware bag with the spinner, steerable tail wheel, and we've got floats as well, and the struts that we would need to attach those, and we've got skis in this bag if we want to fly off snow. So, we'll not take too long to assemble. This comes with a very good manual on how to do that, but it's pretty intuitive to be honest. But what I am going to show after I've assembled it is how to set up the new Radio Master Boxer radio to operate this FMS Kingfisher uh, trainer. So uh, give me a few minutes and I'll be back and show you how to do that. So there we go, FMS Kingfisher assembled and that literally took 15 to 20 minutes. So all I had to do was to bolt the landing gear onto the fuselage 
using the three provided bolts. Slide the wing halves onto the fuselage using the uh, provided wing bolts and uh, wing joiner. Connect up the struts underneath the wings to the fuselage using the provided clips and then slide in the horizontal stabilizer making sure that it clipped and clicks in place. Pushed in the tail wheel making sure that it was steerable and that it connected into the rudder assembly above it and connected up the push rod for the elevator and the rudder. Okay, so how about setting up my radio to fly this Kingfisher? Okay, so setting up a model for the first time. Switch on, hold down the power button. Welcome to Edge TX. Now, I'm not an Edge TX um, expert. I've been using OpenTX, but Edge TX is supposed to be pretty much the same. Uh, fairly similar, so uh, hold down model. I want to create a new model, so let's go down to 6, uh, create model, uh, and it's done that. Then I think I go page across, and you go uh, page right and page left through the pages to set up the model. So I can see here I can set the model name, so I'm just going to go for something simple like King. In return, if we scroll down, then the first, as I scroll down, there are timers that you can set and a few other things, but the main thing that we need to get to is the, the type of receiver and protocol we're going to be using. So uh, I've got, I don't have a module at the moment. I could add Crossfire, but I'm using a combination of DSM2, DSMX and FR Sky receivers these days, my fixed wing models. So that is all available in on the internal RF uh, board. So change this to multi. Then go back to find DSM on subtype. I can change it between DSM2 and DSMX. So leave it on that. And then what I would do on my Kingfisher RC aeroplane is put in the bind plug into that receiver into the bind port and uh, power it up. The light would flash indicating it's in bind mode and here I would click on bind and that would bind to that receiver. That's the first step. But then going across to the next tab let's see what we've got. Well, we've got the basics already. So on inputs, we've got aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder on the first four channels. Just so happens on the Kingfisher uh, model that I've got that it's a Y lead. So just a single input into the receiver for aileron, a single elevator as well, single lead for the throttle and the same for the rudder. So that's already done. I could add rates and exponential to that but um, that's on this particular model I also have flaps so go across to mixes my flaps are going to be on channel 6 so I could just put name that flap and then I want to associate a switch so I click once on the scroll wheel and I want flap on SB. Job done. Uh, I've also got the gyro on channel 7 so I can switch between the three modes off, off stabilized and optimized. So I could go into this and call this mode. and again associate a three position switch and I will use SC. 
job done. And would you believe that is really all you need to do for setting up a, a basic RC aeroplane. Not much more than that. There are lots of other things you could do, obviously. But let's just keep it to that. All right, so here we are with the FMS Kingfisher down the flying field. And as I said, really easy to assemble. 3S2200 pack. So let's see how it flies on the new Radio Master Boxer radio. Here we go. Jay is filming today. Thanks for coming down, Jay. No problem. Holding in the elevator to keep the tail down. Nice bright scheme, I have to say. Yeah, it's nice. Which is important, particularly on a dull day, but we uh, we got a bit of cloud at the moment. But... Straight well, up. I can tell you, that's hands off. Slowly climbing, so I'm happy with that. Straight into a roll. <laughs> As you do with a trainer. Nice. Stall turn. Nice roll. Not a bad little pattern ship you've got there, Dom. <laughs> Flying it like a pattern ship. Oh yeah. Have to say I do like the scheme against the sky. I could fly it like a trainer, but that would make for quite a boring video, I think. I think it's nice to show what else these things will do. So aerobatic, no problem. Let's do a loop in the middle. Full power. Full size off to your right. Low. Big loop. And power off. Size. Yeah, you're all good. He's a long way away. Noisy full size. Right, so let's try flat. Bit, quite a bit of wind down the down the field, so only need half flat really. And they are quite big flat. It virtually stops. Holding an elevator, full elevator, and just using the rudder and the ailerons to keep it level. Probably so, would like more elevator. It would fly even slower, but that's pretty good. Let's try, let's try full flap, so just bringing it round. Full flap. Yeah, it really does stop. That is a helicopter. <laughs> it will stall eventually, so, okay, so out of that. Let's bring it in. I don't think we need to do anything more. Does everything. Decent size. And despite the wind, flies quite nicely. I've not bothered experimenting with the uh, reflex gyro. Don't need to. There you go. That's the Kingfisher from FMS. Thanks for watching this flight test together with the Boxer Radio Master Boxer. Absolutely fantastic package. So uh, look up the links in the video description and pinned comment for both of these products. You might uh, want to think about getting them and look at the price. But otherwise, if you enjoy our flight test, then please subscribe, click the bell icon for notifications of our future uploads and live streams. You might want to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this particular video. But otherwise, thanks to Jay on camera. No problem. We'll be back soon on Essential RC. What did you think, Harrison?
I think he loved it. He loved it. <laughs> he looks really enthusiastic. <laughs> Stall turn. Nice roll. Not a bad little pattern ship you've got there, Dom. <laughs> Flying it like a pattern ship. You are, yeah. <laughs> 